Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. I'm the creator of the One Stroke Painting Technique, and I have created Dewberry U. Dewberry U has something that's going to help you standardize our strokes and for you to do an at-home study, and it is called Skill Builders. And the Skill Builders, we have a variety of Skill Builders. Today I'm going to work with stroke, a stroke study. So we're going to do scrolls, scrolling, and different ways to scroll with different brushes. So I think you're going to love that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of other items that you can do to go through this system. And I hope that you like this. And I'm just going to touch base on here's some things with the scroll study that's going to help you. All right. When you're done with your workbook, this is a Sunflower workbook. You're going to get a certificate that's signed by a faculty member that has either reviewed you online or you me or them and they personally sit down with you and critique you. So you can critique online or you can critique person to person. Then you'll get a pen. See that sunflower pen right there? So these are some of the pens that are possible. So you can purchase those pens as you complete each one. And here's just a few of them to show you. When you sign up to join Dewberry U, you'll get your book and your tracker and, and it will keep you updated with newsletters and all and you'll get this Dewberry U pen. Isn't that great? So it's just kind of a motivation and it's going to help you to get through steps. And if you ever want to be certified or even if you are certified, this is going to help you do better your strokes and, and have these standards that will help one stroke be a better course all over. So here's what we're going to do. This is the scroll study workbook. And as we go through here, you're going to have steps that you're going to do. And here's like some of the, the strokes that we're going to work on. And doing scrolls, there are a lot of a lot of ways you can use scrolls, from painting on faces and nails to painting on walls. I've done many antique pieces of furniture, headboards. I've done the whole headboard as a scroll on the wall. And so there's some things that people do that, that are a mistake with scrolls. And so I just want to review a few of these. And so what we do is we learn right and wrong strokes, and you practice that. And then you have a whole sheet of paper, and you practice these gray scales all through the book. And that's going to help you go through that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to do this on the foam plate, and I'm going to pick up some blue so you can see it better than some of the colors I used in the book. Because when we're when we're doing it on the on the paper, sometimes you don't see it. And I'm going to put these two next to each other. And we're not going to do my traditional double loading, but I will show you. I'm going to use a light blue too, just because if the white's not going to show. Oops. There we go. All right, so we're going to do round brushes, and I'm going to do a, a liner brush and a regular round brush, and we're going to start from there. Okay, oh, thank you. Yeah, I have a little round brush that comes in my set, or you can pick up any size round brush, and we're going to use a strip liner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a marker, you can use a pencil, whatever, and we're going to do an oval. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one color blue, one color white, okay? And I'm going to push and lift. And sometimes that doesn't show, so we're going to put the white up and let you see what happens here. Start up here. So I'm going to put the white up. We're going to come so it's really skinny, and we're going to use that oval. And see, we picked up one side, the other side. And now I have the white going up and the white going up. All right? And we're going to work around this oval as we're coming around. And we don't use floating medium. Some of you might not know what floating medium is. But we don't use that. We're just going to use a lot of paint. Okay? And so I'm going to get to this point. I can have one scroll coming this way, coming down. And then I can come in with a liner brush. I'm going to pick up some water on this. Make it inky. And then let's go back up to our piece here. And let's pick up some liner work. We can put liner along here and cover that. But if it's a pencil, you can erase it later too. Okay, look, I roll out of this to keep my tip. I can cross across the tip and come up. Then 
small circle right here. And do a cross hatch and a cross theater. Or I can close and come around. Cut and come around. You can see that's pretty dry. Close. So I just want you to kind of look at how I'm laying that out to start with. But what we're going to do is let's work with the strip liner. We can put the blue and we can streak it through white. And let's start here. So we push. See my little finger? My little finger. I'm on my little finger. I'm pulling it with my little finger. And then I do a smaller one. Okay, now this is what a lot of people do. They do this. All right, and they think that's what we're doing. Do you see the difference? And if in your head you see the round, that's going to help you curve around that piece. All right, so then what I'm going to do is through the notebook, they tell us we're going to do one in the middle, brush, lift. I hope I work a bit better so I have a curve at the top. Down. And then we're going to start at the top here, push, lift, see my little finger? My little finger is pulling this brush. All right. And then what, to, what we also practice in here is we're going to come and do it upside down. We can also turn the whole the practice sheet upside down. But that's how we would get started to do that. And so we're going to practice a whole sheet of that. So, Let's go to the next page, and what we're going to do is we're going to work on, see how we're going to make it cut into, this is going to be the center of the flower, and then these twirls are the ones that we have most problems with, where people are putting them, they're the same size, each one of them, they just come down, instead of, when they're each um, a little bit shorter, and they tuck into each other, okay, that's, See, instead of this being separated, not nested, this is nested, okay? So we can come back again, that pin over here, and we're going to push the same liner. We can push and pull it in more, okay? Then the next one's going to go slightly lower and a little shorter, slightly lower and shorter. See how that fits into each other? Instead of... This one's the same, this one's the same, this one's the same. Okay? So you can look at the tips of it and see that, that there is a difference. So what we're gonna go, what we're gonna do here is I like to start in the middle. On both sides we still have a liner. And we're gonna come bigger and bigger. So that's going in reverse of what I did earlier. Started in the middle and I got bigger from there. See this one? I get back over it because you want heavier. And heavier. See how I'm running out of paint? I just need to go back and get a little bit more water actually. Okay, then here I'm just going to touch. And the way you're doing this, touch and lift, is I'm lifting up on my little finger so I stand up. All right, now I'm going to go to the round brush where we're doing the blue on one side, white on the other. And we're going to start right here. We have a push and stand up. And I want you to do a whole sheet of practicing these tucked into each other. That's with a round brush. And it gets you that nice full. Now, this is just a little review. So when you're home working on it, it's going to show you the different brushes and close-ups of loading it. And how how the turn see this is too drastic this is a nice it's a comma stroke and instead of this broken look okay and so you do a whole sheet of two of them going left side right side coming up and going down all right and so each one of those make a difference in your stroke so now what i want to do is we're going to paint projects in the whole back and now what's real important is that you see in here okay that there's a couple of different different ways of doing this. We're going to do an oval and staggering oval like this. 
okay? So as we're doing this, it should be easy for you, and we're doing it with a liner. So when we're doing our strokes across here, what we did was inside of here, we did one, two, three, and that's going to help you do this together. On this side, I'm going to go one, excuse me, two, three. And then what I did was not do a nice start there. Right? And I'm going to pick up white now because it looks better with white. And then this one should be closer. See, I put it too far. That's mostly how I'm doing my circle. Alright, so after I practice putting that together, then what I want to do is let's do it over here. Okay, and then I'm going to this over to my right here. And then two, three. And then I'm going to pick up the next one. We want to try to keep this as a straight line. And you can see I went down a little bit, but we can then come back up here and start back up again. So mostly what we want to see is that this is a nice continuing line. And then one thing that I like to do is that I like to put in little dots. And so I would come right here and dot it back up. So here's the end. And you can dot it as you go around. So, and as you dot each dot, it, it, you have to have fresh paint to do that it will progressively get smaller. So that's a really nice, but here's, here is if you did circles. And these circles, if you're going like this, what happens is that we're going to do the same work around this. All right? Let's see how I do this. All right, so we went like this. Okay? And I'll tell you why that's important later. We can put our curves from here. One, two, three. Try to do this quick so I get a lot in. And then on this side. Okay, but as you've gone around this curve, I want you to see that then we can come here with a bigger brush even. And we can address these curves and even come out a little more. So this, I did a lot of this with the liner, but you can do this with different size round brushes. Okay? And the same thing, you can put dots and square liner work. So it's all coming around the circles and the ovals that we're doing. Okay, one thing that's really nice is um, a leaf that I do with the scrolls. One thing is that we're going to use both. Let's come back with you. And what I want to do is I want to push and do a mustache that comes down. Push. And this is going to come down, and this is the original shape of my leaf. You see that? That's the shape. Now what's going to happen is we're going to come all up. See, this would be my center line. So I'm going to push, push, and I'm nestling those in, each one of them, into the one before. And then we end it. Well, to make that look good, I'm going to take like the dark blue or the white, sometimes I do white. I'm going to take this into the center of the leaf. I'm going to go darker so y'all can see. All right, and then what really helps your piece, especially when we do this on one side, is that I will come in here and scroll and finish up and clean that. If this is dry, I might even come a little bit on that side. But so it's still those scroll works. And you're going to like doing that scroll leaf that I, 
That's how I do it on fabrics and on jeans and things that are hard to scroll. This is one that I really like, and it is where I'm going to push this is the inside. All right, now I'm going to pick up white, and I'm going to cross over the top with another scroll. See that? Over the top, and come around, and that looks like a, a leaf that you're seeing the inside of it. And this caps it off on top. And then I just come in here with a few more scrolls. Yeah. And just, it, it's going to give more depth and dimension. So you're going to learn how to control those strokes by color and by, by stroke. All right. So now here is a really nice piece that we're going to do from around. I have paint all over me. <laughs> okay, now we're going to come right here. And we're going to push my little fingers guiding me and come down. One half white, one half blue. Again and again. All right, now I'm going to go on this side of the round and have that there and right here. All right, so that's our first steps and what we want to do is continue to add to this. Now I want you at this point to create your own thing. We're going to push and bring some little ones out of the different color coming in and I'm going to go to my liner to do that. But I can bring this around here. I can put a few of them here. And so just in, enjoy it, kind of figure out if, that you can do a whole scene, a painted scene in the middle of this, like those old Victorian looking settings, and put scroll work around it. But I'll paint an oval or I'll paint a big circle in the middle of a wood chest. And then I'll put the scroll work, even if it's just smaller scroll work with a strip liner, and I will dress up the outside outlining. And like from here to here, I might take and cut a line to clean it up, and then I can take and address different scroll work coming out from this. Brush, left, I can show this stuff. And it's like hot. Brush, left, brush, left. And then I just keep doing that until I have a work that I like. All right. Let me get my final so I can clean it back up. There again. You can maybe a few curves across there. And I also like just to come out here and get little ones in here. The more water paper makes it a little drop, but it's easier on that. Okay. So scroll works fun. There's all kinds of different projects that we're still gonna do in here. And you just repeat these projects. Look at this. This is showing you how to balance from side to side, and how to make a little Florida Lee effect, how to cross over and do a different kind of border, look how pretty that border is, all right? So anyway, there's more projects and more things for you to do through this, and the key is that you want to get a faculty member, you can call my offices, you can go www.dojoycrafts.com and find out teachers, under find a teacher that are faculty and contact them by email or call them and see if they would be willing to grade you and they're excited to talk to you and you can do it through Skype you can do it by digitals and send digitals to them I've had people that send all their paperwork and send it to them to look at and any way that you two can agree to upon it to work it out the deal is you're going to grow by learning these strokes by practicing and doing a home study course and learning the terminology that we use and it's going to help you succeed in many ways you can make a career out of this or you can just spend the time embellishing the techniques. Many of us just want to do that. But you know what? One stroke painting helps you be really quick if you're mass producing product to sell. So there's lots of wonderful things you can do it and we have lots for you to look at and be excited about. So check us out.